No, it is not better, Donna. It's my sister, Donna. Watching this, Donna? That's how I want it from now on. Hi, I'm Robert Eldridge, visionary. Welcome to another episode of Startup 101. Today's concept, crowdsourcing. Now this is a new one. Uh, let's just put it this way, they didn't teach it to me in business school where I spent three years learning how to do business as a professional. They didn't teach this, you know why? Because somebody made it up like four years ago and people are making a lot of money on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The facts are out there, people are making a lot of money sourcing the crowd. And so the definition, Merriam-Webster would, uh, would have you know that crowdsourcing means appealing to the public for support and contributions, either creative or financial. Uh, I might have an idea that I want to spitball with the public. Hey, what do you guys think of this? How can we make it better? That's crowdsourcing. And then crowdfunding is another way of doing that where you say, hey, everybody, give me money to follow through on this great idea that I made up 10 minutes ago while I was on the toilet. So here's an analogy I like to use to describe crowdsourcing. Uh, picture yourself at a douchey frat party at a community college. Just a bunch of know-nothings hanging around and getting drunk and enjoying each other's company. And let's say some idiot named Knox walks up and he's all like, Hey guys, guys, I just got, a, dude, just got an amazing idea. Uh, what if I like jumped off the garage into the pool? Would you guys watch that? Would you like, like if I did that? And everyone's like, yeah, yeah, we'll watch you jump off the garage. Of course, that'd be hilarious. And he's like, okay. <laughs> so that's crowdsourcing in the sense that he has gotten the approval of the public and support, intellectual and creative support behind the idea that he has in his tiny little skull. Now, crowdfunding would be going back to the same people and being like, Knox is all like, oh, you, you guys, you know, on second thought, like, I realize it's not really worth my while to just jump off the garage or in the pool. I figure, like, maybe I should make some money off this, you know, so, like, you know, some, like, stacks, some stacks, you know, some racks, some stacks, you know what I'm saying? So, like, what if, like, everybody, okay, so you can't watch, bro. You can't watch unless you pay me $5 each. Would you, would you do that? Would you? And everyone's like, yeah, okay, we'll pay $5. Okay, that sounds pretty cool. And he's like, all right, well, like $10. If you give me $10, maybe you can record a video. Is that cool? And people are like, yeah, I'll record a video. All right, yeah, yeah. And then he's like, Knox is like, all right, sweet. So he goes up and he does it. And he, he, meanwhile, he's just like swimming in cash because of some knuckleheaded idea that he had that his equally knuckleheaded friends got behind and gave him money to do. And this is how, this is what the world has come to. These uneducated nincompoops are making a fortune off of completely moronic ideas. That is the long and the short of it. I'm Robert Eldridge, and this has been a lesson in crowdsourcing. Don't be an idiot.